Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at reports. Reports are created and managed in the Reports category of the Design tab. Here we can add new reports to the project by clicking on the Add button. As you can see, there are four base templates of reports available that we can then modify to our liking. Let's start by creating a new equipment report. We press the edit button to open a larger version of the report that includes the options available for it. As you can see, the equipment report contains all the equipment of the project, including things like gobos and accessories. We can include and exclude various blocks of data in the report by using the checkboxes on the right hand side. It's also possible to apply a filter to the report to filter out specific layers or DMX universes from the information. At the bottom right corner you can find the export and print buttons, which is how you would print or export the report from Capture. Let's take a look at the next report, called the Fixture Report. The Fixture Report is a list of all the fixtures in your project, unless excluded by a filter. You can include or exclude the columns you need from the report by checking or unchecking these column checkboxes. You can also specify the sort order of the fixtures to, for instance, sort them all by DMX patch. The third report template is the Fixture Locations report. This breaks down fixtures based on their location. It is also possible to include trusses in this report by checking the Include Trusses option. The location information of the fixtures is automatic automatically picked up based on the fixture's proximity or nearness to a truss. If we look at the six profiles hung on this bar, the name of this bar, the unit name, is LX1. This is why these six profiles appear under the LX1 location in the locations report. It is possible to override the location for a fixture or to specify the location for a fixture that is not near a truss. Let's take this profile for example. We can override its location information by entering another location in the location property. Let's call the location A1. If I go back to the report now, the locations report, you can see that the new location A1 has been included with the one profile in that location. The fourth report template available is the frame lists report. This is used to show the contents of overridden gobo or color wheels in a project. I have none such in this project, so I'm going to skip that one. Finally, I would like to point out that there is a specific object available in the library called the report item. If you add a report item to your project, you're able to include an additional piece of information in the report. Examples of report items could be things like slings, cables, or any other type of, of accessory otherwise not understood by Capture. And finally, there is a layer property that is very useful that is named include in reports. This allows you to specifically exclude anything in a particular layer from any report. Thanks for watching. See you soon again.